friends, brothers, and sisters. My name is Tin, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's Gospel is from Luke 12, verses 35 to 38. Jesus tells his disciples a parable of a master coming home after a wedding feast, knocking on the door, and the importance of his servants being awake and ready to welcome him in. He says, Stay dressed for action and keep your lamps burning. Jesus tells us to be ready at all times to open the door for him when he comes. He wants us to keep the light on, to be alert and awake, because we don't know exactly when he will come. In fact, he might come when we least expect it. Sometimes we like to procrastinate and set aside important things thinking we have the luxury of time. For example, we might say, My friend and I fought the other day and hurt each other, but I'm going to wait until she says sorry first. Or, my schedule is just too busy this week. I'm going to pray, hear confession, or go to Mass when I'm less busy. Or we might say, it would be good to do an outreach or reach out to the poor, but I'm just lazy or not in the mood. I can go on with more examples of how we delay doing the right thing because of pride, distractions, or just not feeling it. But this is exactly what Jesus warns us about. He can come today, tomorrow, centuries from now. As dark as this sounds, we might also die today, tomorrow, or next week. And if that happens and we're not prepared, we might regret it. Even simple moments in our daily lives can be opportunities to encounter Jesus. And if we're not aware or alert, then we will miss it completely. Sayang, di ba? So, Jesus reminds us to be watchful and vigilant just like the servants who were ready for their master's return. And to do that, we need to recognize our master's voice and to respond actively. You see, servants back then needed to be really familiar with their master's voice so that they'd know it's him who knocks. Otherwise, they might open the door for thieves or strangers. So for us, constant prayer and communication with the Lord will allow us to recognize His voice. It will help us recognize God's presence in our daily lives so that at every moment we can feel Him and hear Him speak to us. The Lord might be knocking on our hearts right now, at this moment. Are we able to tune out other voices and focus on His? Secondly, when we hear God's voice, we need to respond actively, not passively. God always calls us to action to obey, to love, to serve other people. And so when we hear him, we ought to respond with, Yes, Lord, I will do as you say. So it will be good to ask the Lord for the grace to obey and actively respond to his word. Now, Jesus ends the parable with a promise that the servants who are ready to open the door for the master will get to sit with him at the table. And not only that, it will be the master himself who will serve them. This is the kind of master we have. He's the one who humbles himself for his people. And Jesus promises us that if we stay faithful, if we prepare well for his coming, he will unite us to himself forever and give us the best love, care, and support, and service that he can. So friends, let us stay alert and ready for when Jesus knocks. Let us not delay. The time to be a good and faithful disciple is now. If you have been blessed and inspired by this reflection, please like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, my name is Tin. Thank you and have a great day.